Hello, I am Josh Erkman, and let's talk about the first chapter of the book Engineering Systems, Meeting Complex Human Needs in Technological World. Meeting Human Needs in a Complex Technological World. There we go. This is by Oliver DeWick, Daniel Ruse, and Christopher McGee, um, with a forward by Charlie M. Vest. <clears throat> so, um, this book has been developed at MIT. Um, it was published in around 2011. Yeah, so, it's all very new. You know, these ideas, I'm sure they've been thinking about them for 10, 20 years, but uh, they've only released them to the world just now. <clears throat> so, let's dive in. Um, in the first chapter of Engineering Systems, what we talk about is from inventions to systems. And this is where we really start thinking about what it means to have a system or specifically an engineering system. Um, <clears throat> so they begin, um, we begin with a story. <sighs> is that over the course of human history, we've gone from making just like specific inventions. Is that there's like that guy who comes and he's like, I made this, you know, like stone chipping tool to work wood. Um, and it completely changes the culture, you know, it leads to the rise and fall of kings at times. You know, we've this has literally happened with um, with metal technologies, with bronze or iron. You know, we have the Bronze Age and the Iron Age is that, you know, for thousands and thousands of years, for most of human history, we've been dominated by inventions. Somebody invents something and bam, you know, like society has changed. But then, you know, around the turn of the century, we've come to start putting our systems together um, in, in real big ways. It started with things like watches, you know, we had gears and we had you know, a power system using gravity, like a, a drop weight, um, and then we were able to develop a system of consistently measuring time based on the combination of all these simple inventions. <clears throat> um, so the, we started thinking of these systems, and then these systems got more complex. Think automobile. Um, you know, the automobile was, is one of the greatest inventions that we've come up with, personal transportation at a um, at a heightened rate and heightened potency that we never experienced in our civilization. So <clears throat> then, though, we had all of these, you know, complex systems that were based on inventions. Um, you know, and inventions still happen today, but they don't quite make such a difference because they're just one part, um, one small solution in a variety of problems that we see from all of our systems. So what we've begun to do is integrate our, you know, complex systems, anything from a factory to an automobile that makes the factory, or a factory that makes the automobile, to um, systems that are complex and serve a whole societal function, and they are complex engineering systems. So it's systems of systems. We're taking, for instance, like the communication system and the transportation system. Those two systems comprise of, you know, with the communication system we have with um, cell towers and we have cell phones and um, we have all the, the software and the hardware that integrate all of those um, communication systems together. And then we have, um, our transportation systems. You know, the GPS in your car has to use um, the 14, uh, 14 grid GPS satellite system that the US put into space in order to help you navigate through the transportation system, which is comprised of your vehicle and is comprised of the road and is comprised of all the rules that we have for the road. So all these things come together for having one complex techno complex system, another complex system. Um, each of them are engineering systems. You know, it's systems of systems that are really complex. But now we need to talk about how those complex engineering systems work together. 
Um, it turns out that there's a lot of friction between these systems a lot of times, and those are some of the big societal issues that we see in our world. <clears throat> so this has been the first chapter of Engineering Systems, and I hope that it's been enlightening, and um, you know, just uh, look forward to more videos. Okay, thanks. See ya.